Radoslav Zlatanov in the men's long jump. His S gets underway, it's T13, least physical impairment. So it's back to the normal takeoff board again, no guides or anything like that. Uh, Dragson Nielsen of Norway does not start. Zlatanov, a regular medalist. Igor Fartanov also of Belarus. Pudaru of Romania. We use the board a huge amount. But it's a good effort. He will be in front. First to go, 6 metres 52 for Zlatanov. And a good attempt by the Spaniard, Ivan Jose Cano Blanco. We can expect him to be a big candidate as well. He, on lifetime best, is uh, ranked second. But that running through is a red flag. Break through into the plasticine. Instant red. Open and shut case for the 21 year old. Something to be tidied up for him. As Latinov goes to the long jump for Bulgaria. That's a decent, strong effort by uh, Zatanov there. Silver in the 100 metres. Was the reigning European champion going into this as best a long jump effort at the Paralympic Games when he won bronze. And he looks primed for pole position here. He is our leader, 6.52, but he doesn't improve. Athletes from Turkey here. It's actually, athletes from everywhere here, including Spain. Ivan Jose Canoblanco, no mark in the first round. What about the second? It's a solid effort. Silver in the last two major championships, the Worlds in Doha, the Europeans in Swansea. Bowed out in the heat to the 100 metres, and both of those. But he's used his track technique very well and a good lift off the board it's gone beyond six and a half meters and he's our new leader six meters 54 back to the long jump and this is Igor Fartinov of Belarus gold in the uh, high jump four major global medals Paralympic Games champion back in the noughties, and he won his first major medals in Atlanta, 1996. He's very good in the long jump as well. Bronze in uh, Swansea in this. Six metres, 46, and he's up into third. Back to Radoslav Zlatanov. Very tight between him and Fartinov at the moment. 6.52 in the opening round. This is very close to his season's best. This T13, medium visual impairment, uh, least visual impairment, or should I say, the three categories, and he met the board spot on. The plasticines even in Bulgarian national colours. Major improvement, 6.72, and he is back in front. Back beyond Fatinov once more. Even Cano Blanco, our former leader, has now dropped down to third, 6.54. Oh, and he's run through. That's probably still going to be measured, but it's around five metres. Overtaken by Zlatanov again. He was fine on the board, so it will be measured. 5.47 for Cano Blanco. He's in second place. So back to the long jump, and this is Igor Fartinov. His third attempt in this now, as he tries to get himself right back up in third place. Well, that's a serious effort by the Belarusian. Oh, he's gone well out. Well, the lead has been changing hands a lot lately. 
Ivan Canoblanco going out to 6.54 to go in front. Zlatanov had been 6.52 in front. Well, Fatanov 6.46 in the second round, 6.55. He goes into second place. Men's long jump, T13, still going on. This is Canoblanco for Spain, and that's huge! That's huge! Silver in the last two major championships. The Europeans in Swansea in 2014, the Worlds in Doha last October. Has he got himself back into the top step again? Now, he barely used the board he gave about 20 centimetres away. And yet, it could be very useful. It is, it's the lead, 6 metres 91 for Cano Blanco. Brilliant jumping from the Spaniard. And he hits the front by 19 centimetres ahead of Zlatanov of Bulgaria. 6.55 for Fatanov, 6.72 Zlatanov, 6.91 Canablanca. So, Fatanov's chance to respond. Round four, 6.55 is best, coming around three, and he's got out beyond six and a half again. Really high standard of competition here. His season's best was six metres 12 going into this, and he's gone way beyond. Fatanov again, not using the board very well. Uh, should I say he could have been a bit further up, but still, 661 is best so far. Cyrillic has changed a bit in Belarus, so it's uh, spelt Fatanov, but pronounced Fatanov still. And this is Zlatanov for Bulgaria. 672, lies in second place. That's another one beyond 650. Silver in the 100 metres this week. And they're looking good. Gold in the 100 metres, his best results in the long jump, as we were saying, in the Paralympic Games. If you're going to do it somewhere, we'll do it there. And he did it in London when he won the bronze. 6.57, he stays in second place. The long jump continues, and this is Ivan Cano Blanco of Spain, 6.91 in round four. That's another big one. That's another beauty. Two major championships, Silvers in his career in the long jump. And our leader has put out another one around seven metres, 6.91 last time around. Again. Didn't use a lot of the board, but went way out. Way, way out. A joint championship record, 7.09, and Canio Blanco's on the way to gold. For Belarus, Igor Fatinov. Fifth attempt. 6.61 at the moment, he needs another 12 centimetres, and that's another good one. Keeps bombarding. Again, didn't use the board very well, but keeps bombarding and peppering around the 6.50 mark and beyond. Six fifty-four, and he stays third. So the long jump heading towards its conclusion. Cano Blanco's final attempt, 7.09, joint championship record in the fifth round, and that's another long one. It's gone well out again. Zlatanov and Fatanov have fought hard for Bulgaria and Belarus, respectively. Lots of moving around in the early rounds between those three, but Cano Blanco has made his class pay and for the first time, he is a major champion. He's the European champion. Ivan Canoblanco ah. <laughs> celebrating his gold medal for Spain. His first major title. Go to his European silver and world silver for the past two major championships. Ivan Jose Canoblanco wins 7.09, a joint championship record.
Zlatanov, 6.72, and Fartanov third.